Can you checkmate with two rooks? Make sure to watch this video to find out if you can. Here is white to move. White has two extra rooks. And this king is in the corner. How we checkmate here? We play here rook on h1. And now it's checkmate as black's king can't go anywhere. Similar type of position where white has two extra rooks. And Black's King is on the first rank. In order to checkmate, we should do this. We should play Rook on F1. And now Black's King can't go anywhere. As White's Rook on G2 cuts this King on the second rank. Another similar type of checkmate. We are again White has two Rooks and King. And Black only has one piece and it's just a king and as you can see this king is cut so how we checkmate here we play rook on a1 and after this move like king still can't go anywhere and moreover it's a checkmate seems like confusing position as black has now pawn and knight but the idea is the same as you can see black's king is cut it can't go on a2 because of this rook on a7. It can't go to b2 or c2 because of white's king on c3. So what's the solution here? The solution here is rook on f1, checkmate, and again, black's king can't go anywhere, and it's a checkmate. This is very interesting checkmate. As you can see, we can't checkmate in one with rook, but we should be creative in this puzzle. How we win this? The solution is king on g7. And black's king can't go on 7th rank because of this rook on c2. Rook b1 is checkmating black's king. And that's why king g7 is only moved to checkmate here. Instead of king g7, king e7 is not working because black's king will escape on a7. Even though it's still a win for white. The easier is here to play king g7 and just simply checkmate in one. Now we got checkmate in one, but not on the eighth or first rank. How we solve this? Here we play rook g6 and it's a checkmate because black's king can't go on d5 or e5 or f5 because we have king on e4 and it stops. And the black's king can't go on 7th rank because rook is on b7. That's why it's a checkmate. Another very interesting checkmate in 1. How can you solve it? And the solution here is rook on c5. Again, black's king can't go on d4 or d3 or d2 because of white's king on e3. And white's rook on b8 is covering b file. That's why black's king can't escape. And the last puzzle of this episode. Even though black has pawn on c3, it still does not stop white to checkmate in 1. How would you solve it? And the checkmate is with rook e5 to e4. And now black's king can't escape on d3 due to this rook on e3, on c3 due to this pawn, on c5 or d5 because of this king on d6. And that's why it's a checkmate. If here we would play rook from e3 to e4, it's still a win for white, but black would escape from d3 and uh, it won't be a checkmate in 1. So that's why here we checkmate with rook on e5 to e4. I hope you solved all of these puzzles and make sure to like and subscribe.